Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of our LS6 Recreation Convertible 70 four-speed silver red interior rotisserie restored. You're gonna love checking this one out. So go to the website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll get it up on the lift so you can see how nice the bottom side is. We're gonna pop the hood, take a look at the 454 under the hood. We're gonna look at the interior. We're gonna drive it. We'll get inside the trunk. We're gonna show you everything you wanna see so you can make a great decision on your LS6. Come on up and let's fire it up for you now. So check out this car. Front bumper chrome looks brand new. The grill looks brand new. Headlight bezels look brand new. Now the paint is phenomenal on the car. Look at those stripes. Look at the detail. Look at the curve here. Look at the sharp corners. And those babies are buried under the clear. I cannot even feel them in there. Now silver is one of the hardest colors to paint because you get a lot of modeling in the silver. This silver is beautiful, straight as an arrow. The um, body lines are all nice and straight. There's no door dings, there's no uh, chips, nothing. Beautiful car. Doors lined up real nice right here. Look at that door jam there. Look how nice and neat all that is. Look how nice and neat the uh, rubber is, the door panel. I hear the buzzer even working. Let me get the key out so we don't have to listen to that. The uh, dash pad itself looks great. The um, dash itself, all the chrome looks good. The gauges look good. The faces on the gauges look awesome. The center console looks great. There's that four speed shifter with the chrome uh, shifter ball. The red interior is phenomenal. Now, if you want to check out pictures of the car with the top up, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. You can check out those pictures there. That quarter panel, straight as an arrow. Wheel lip molding looks new. Chrome on the back bumper looks good. Trunk lid is lined up nice. Again, look at these stripes. Look at those curves. Look at those corners. They're beautiful. Inside the trunk. Beautiful in here too. Look at that trunk floor. The wheel wells look good. The back sides of the quarters are nice and clean. All the gutters here around the trunk opening look good. Paint work on the bottom side of the uh, deck lid looks good. All the lips are nice and clean. When you look down the side of the car, she's straight as an arrow. It's just beautiful. Of course, 454 under the hood, four speed, top goes down. Just an amazing build. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we own all of our vehicles here. So you can bet we spend the time to check them out before we buy them. When they get back here to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer any question you may have about the car. We've got about 235 cars in stock and we own every one of them. We bring in about 40 new ones every month and I personally take a look at every one of those cars. So what that means to you is you're getting my 35 plus years of experience helping you pick out your dream car. All right, let's take our big block Chevelle convertible for a ride. 1970 model convertible, guys. Four speed, big block, silver. This car is amazing. And it's a convertible and it's summertime. Time to get the convertible out and head to the ice cream store. I'll tell you what, these Chevelles are one of the most popular cars we have in inventory and the convertibles go fast, guys. And this one with a four speed with this beautiful silver paint, 
it's not going to be here long. So give Tom a call at 248-974-9513. He'll tell you how easy it is to park this Chevelle anywhere in the world in your driveway. Now, if you need some help with financing, we've got bankers that can help out with that. It only takes about a 15 minute phone call with the banker and this dreams in your driveway. If you'd like to fill out that application online, no problem there either. Just go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. Now look down here on the dash. The tack's working, the speedo's working. It's got an aftermarket radio that looks like a retro radio. Uh, blower's working, horn's working. I tell you what, and the accelerator, she's working good. And that four speed is working even better. It is a blast to drive, guys. 70 Chevelle, like I said, probably the most popular car on the planet. And the top goes down on this beauty. The silver paint is amazing. We'd love to have you come check it out. You know, we're only 20 minutes from the airport if you'd like to fly in. If you'd like to drive in like on a Saturday or something, we're here till three o'clock on Saturday. Just let Tom know you're coming. Give him a call at 248-974-9513. Now, we sell about 95% of our cars sight unseen. So we don't, let, we don't get to meet our customers very often. So if you see Tom or I or one of the other guys at a car show, please come up and talk to us. We'd love to talk to you about what we've got coming in. We've got 40 new cars coming in every month. You never know what we may be bringing in next. So keep a close eye on us. Now we're gonna do something nobody else in the industry does. We're gonna put this car up on the lift and we're gonna show you the bottom side. We're gonna get under the hood, see what's making the power. This amazing ride, stick with us. Okay guys, this is the undercarriage of our 1970 Chevelle. Um, part, of our, part of the thing here that with this car that makes it so special is that this is one of the nicest undercarriage cars that I have seen roll through here and that's really saying something um, as far as a factory correct undercarriage restoration goes. And uh, you can really tell what caliber of car it is based on the undercarriage restoration. As, as you can see here, we have brand new tank, primer underside of the car, which is exactly what this should be from the factory. They even did uh, the uh, quality job of not even spray painting over top of the plugs too, so it's all, you know, it's all been painted then assembled and to me that is the highest caliber of build you can actually accomplish with a lot of these things as far as your stock stuff goes. Um, brand new exhaust of course, painted frames, beautiful, all the drop downs are in wonderful shape on this. Um, we're going to move around up here, brand new springs obviously, uh, brand new shocks obviously. The rear end for this car, it's a 307, it is a posi, it does have uh, drum brakes on either side of it and one thing about Vanguard, we are uh, drum brake experts, we deal with more drum brakes than we do disc brakes quite frankly. We know a lot about them. We know how they're supposed to go. Um, if we, we take them all apart in all of our cars, if we find something we don't like, it gets fixed. Um, okay, our drive shaft obviously looks like it's in good shape. Looks to be original type to the car. Nothing fancy with it. Brand new U-joint there. I mean, that is like brand new U-joint. Brand new U-joint here as well. It even has the sticker on the drive shaft implying that this is probably a new drive shaft or probably freshly balanced, um, whatever it may be. It does look like it has a parking brake that's hooked up and properly tensioned. Um, we do have, of course, the floor pans continuing to look beautiful um, all through this point, section of the car. Um, once again, I see that all the plugs are not painted, implying that this car was all done underneath, then it was assembled, and of course it was probably done underneath, then it was set on the frame. Um, of course, we have a brand new um, fuel line over here, a brand new brake line over here with all the factory clips, all the factory sheathing type stuff here that would be on this car. Um, something else I'd like to point out is we do have the uh, strengthening plates underneath here does have a rear sway bar on the car. Springs are painted separately of everything. The sway bar is painted separately of everything. They have all the correct stickers on this car. I mean, it really doesn't get all that much nicer than this. Moving forward of all of that, exhaust continuing to look good. Um, we do have a, uh, looks like a new, or probably, it's probably an original type one that's been restored. Uh, transmission cross member, beautiful shape, brand new transmission mount. Um, this is a Muncie 4-speed, more specifically it's an M21 Muncie 4-speed, 1969 model year if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it is not numbers matching for the car, however it is relatively period correct, it being a 1969-1970 car, um, pretty close. But uh, like I said, Muncie M21, um, all the factory uh, just stock style clutch linkage, which would be the, the Z-Bar style, has even the factory springs all on it. Once again, brake lines continuing to look good up to that point. Behind this crossover here, brand new brake lines, big surprise. 
coming up forward here. These are our power brakes, by the way, but you'll see that when we get up top. Lower control arms look like they were restored with the rest of the car. Brand new bushings, both in the uh, here, and it looks like it's got a brand new ball joint in both upper and lower. Um, another good thing, too, to me, and this is something that takes a lot of time to do, but looks really good when you do it right, is this front end detail here. I hate to see these things just hosed black when, when people you know do the restorations on these cars. That's the lazy way to do it, quite frankly. This is the way to really do it. You take all this stuff apart, it's painted separately as it was from the factory, and then it's assembled. That's the way to do it. That's the way to pull off the best looking um, you know, presentation of your car right here. This is That's it right there. And you can tell, obviously, new brakes in the front. Even the backing plate appears to be new. Um, we got new, uh, looks like all the tags on the springs are new, new shocks. Uh, bump stops look like they're in also good shape. Looks like all of the um, bushings for the uh, sway bar are in really good shape as well. Steering box looks new. Bottom of the motor looks great. Brand new fuel pump. I mean, it really doesn't get that much better than this, guys. Let's go take a look at wheels and tires. Okay, guys, for rolling stock, it is very period correct to the car. We have the Firestone wide ovals, um, bias fly tires, and uh, I absolutely love these things. There is no substitute for the look of these tires, and it gives you the most accurate driving experience for these kind of cars. Um, F7014, which is what this is, which is a relatively wider style tire, and it is, of course, on a 14-inch wheel, uh, wheel, excuse me. And this is going to be the factory style wheel for this car, just the, uh, the typical style um, SS wheel here. I can see that inside there, it looks like brand new discs on this car. I can still even see the machining hash marks on them, so this is brand new. I bet you these brakes don't have 200 miles on them. Let's go check out the rear. Okay, guys, for the rear, we have the same style uh, and same size wheel and tire. Back here, we do have the um, uh, drum brakes back here. It looks like a brand new drum on the car. Um, something else I'd like to point out while we're back here, especially with the higher quality restorations, you can see um, the bodywork down here is also good. When you get to look up at the cars like this, you can really see a little bit more with the bodywork, and the guys did a very nice job with this. Something else you always feel for is you feel this lip, make sure that there's no rot. I don't, I'm not feeling any rot, just the backs of the screws that hold the trim in. And once again, all very nice stuff. Um, wheel wells look like they're a nice solid shape. The drain hole here doesn't look like it's plugged. I'm reaching up in there. I don't feel any rot or anything like that going on. There's no crustiness going on inside here. And right here along this pinch weld is where you'd start to get the nasty stuff. I'm still seeing spot welds all down that, which is all implacatory of very good things. Um, overall, just a very, very nice undercarriage, if not one of the nicest undercarriages I've ever actually seen. Let's go take a look at the uh, 454 under the hood. Okay guys, this is the engine bay of our 1970 Chevelle. Now, one thing I'd like to point out here is the engine bay on this thing is every bit as nice as the undercarriage on the car. And once again, with the undercarriage of the car and the engine bay, those are two items or two spots on a car that I would like to see, see more, you know, given more attention when a car is restored. Uh, because the, quite frankly, that's the harder thing to make look good. Anybody can throw interiors and things, everybody can throw paint jobs on stuff. That stuff is not very hard, nor is it expensive, nor is it time consuming. This is where the real time is actually uh, put in during an undercarriage, and, or I should say uh, restoration on the cars, undercarriage and engine bay. As you can see, they've done an excellent job here. Um, you can see this car does have AC. Looks like it has the original style AC compressor on it, which is something I very much so like. It's even got look like a brand new sticker on it. All the lines and the hoses look to be uh, right for the car, all original type stuff. This car, being a 1970, even has the... Um, smog type uh, stuff on it, you know, the emissions type stuff still on it. So it has the air injection that goes into your um, uh, exhaust manifolds here, along with what looks like the uh, it, this pump, I guess you should say, the air pump down here, uh, just underneath your alternator. All that stuff is still on this. So once again, they knocked this restoration completely out of the park. No one ever does this sort of stuff. Um, it's just, it's one, it's head and shoulders above most restorations. Um, outside of all that stuff, of course, we got a brand new belt on everything, no big surprise, brand new fuel line on it. Um, we got a power steering car, power brake car. Um, it's even got the sticker on the power brake booster, which should be on the car there for, you know, accurate uh, restoration on the thing. Brand new, uh, looks like, uh, wiper motor on this thing. The uh, firewall looks like it's in excellent shape. All the wiring looks like it's got a brand new harness in it. There's no way that this harness has survived this well. All the colors, even down in here where all the dirt likes to rest, all the colors of the wires are nice and vibrant. They're nice and clean, which means this restoration was really done right. Brand new voltage regulator, brand new alternator. Um, all of your heater hoses look like they're nice and new. Uh, brand new AC Delco battery in the thing, hold down, doing its job. Has the fan shroud on it with the clutch fan on it. Um, one upgrade I do see here is it does have um, an aluminum radiator in the thing, which is just a, uh, of course, a nice um, upgrade for this thing. 
A um, little more about the motor. The engine is, a, of course, a 454 big block Chevy. Um, it's a 1975 model year, from what I can tell, 1975, 1976. It was cast somewhere mid-1975. Um, it has been rebuilt properly because the suffix coat has been milled off, which is what happens when you deck the cylinder head surface on this when you go to rebuild them. So that implies that it's been rebuilt the right way, not cheaply. Um, of course, we do have a uh, Edelbrock Performer 2.0 uh, intake manifold on it. Sitting on top of that is a Holley 4150 four-barrel carburetor. Um, this particular one has straight boosters. It's about 750 CFM. Uh, vacuum secondaries and an electric choke, so it should, just, it should drive on the street just fine for you. Um, and of course, it does have the original type air cleaner and all the, um, the uh, ducting for the uh, uh, cowl induction hood. And it looks like all the stuff is even there for that too, which is once again, uh, head and shoulders above most restorations. This car has got everything it should have, even including the original horns I can see, or the original type horns, they even upspent for that. Um, it even has the sound deadening underneath the hood, something else. So just the more you look, the more you keep finding with this car in the way of proper restoration. So that all being said, this car is about a museum showpiece, really, at this point. If you'd like to have this thing parked in your driveway, or, you know, quite frankly, you could park it in your living room. It's quite frankly that, uh, that clean. Make sure to give Tom a, a number, or give Tom a call at the number below and let Vanguard Motorcycles park this dream in your driveway.